Okay, we're going to start off our oatmeal by taking a banana and we're going to just put that in the bottom of the bowl and give it a good smashing with a fork. Really get it smashed to kind of a paste. Kind of level it out across the bottom of the bowl. On top of that, we're going to add some old fashioned oatmeal and the recipe calls for one serving to be about a half a cup so we'll go ahead and just sprinkle that on there. Now to kind of jazz oatmeal up since it's I don't know if you eat it every day it gets to be kind of bland but there's a little better for taking the cholesterol out of your blood so oatmeal is a really good uh, kind of a preventative for keeping the cholesterol rounded up. Now we're going to go ahead and put some walnuts on top of that and then we'll take some toasted wheat germ, sprinkle a little toasted wheat germ on there. Oh, probably about a tablespoon. Then on top of that for a little energy, we're going to put in some chia seed and oh, we'll probably put in oh, about a tablespoon of chia seed. And then some sliced almonds and maybe two tablespoons and then on top of that because I like the flavor of it a little bit of coconut shredded coconut now this is the kind that does not have the sugar added to it I really try to stay away from all that sugar as much as I can and then I'm going to put some strawberries well, I think I'll wait and I'll put my strawberries on it after it comes out I like those to be a little bit fresh so I'm going to get uh, this one cup and add some boiling water. You can put regular water on it, but it, if you have a really good microwave, but my microwave is kind of old and slow and doesn't have much power, so I try and boil some water up when I make my coffee water. And I just go ahead and put that on there. Kind of gets it started cooking. Okay, we're going to put it in the microwave. Let it go for three minutes. Let's see, we'll clear it. Put it on three, start it up. Okay, that's been three minutes on the oatmeal. And you can see it's pretty much soaked up all that water. And now, go ahead and add our strawberries on top. So I hope you give it a try. And if you've got any favorite ways of making oatmeal, well, I surely hope you'll post them because uh, after a while, oatmeal gets to be kind of boring, and so whatever we can do to kind of spice it up, well, I'd certainly like to hear about it.